This is Gillian for Production Expert. I'm going to be looking at Modalix Aeon Arp, which is one of the new MIDI plugins as introduced with Pro Tools 2024.3. It's an arpeggiator and that makes it the most fun. So let's have a look at this. Um, what I've got in this session is I've just got a single track with, uh, with a um, synth cell plugin on it to provide the sound and an Aeon Arp uh, plugin before it. Um, I'm controlling it from my external MIDI keyboard. And uh, we'll have a quick look at what we can do. I've also got this kick drum just to give some timing context to make sense of the arpeggiations. In the window, what we have is, uh, this is my first tip if you've used any kind of arpeggiator before. There are two modes in this. Uh, there's divide mode here and there's multiply mode. Uh, divide mode is really deep, it's really interesting, can do interesting polyrhythmic stuff, but if you want to get started with something more familiar, go with multiply mode, because it'll be more like something you've used before. Use this uh, this number here to decide the rate of the arpeggiation against the, uh, the tempo, and uh, you can set a number of steps as well. We've got this empty window here, and it doesn't make a great deal of sense just like this. You've just got this zero, one, two, three, four, whatever. But if I press a key on my keyboard, we'll see it can see the notes that I'm pressing on the MIDI controller, D, E, etc. If I press more than one note, then I get C, E, C, C, E, whatever. If I press, say, a triad, C, E, G, C, G, E. So if I create some arpeggiation events in here, Say so using this tool, we have three tools, this pointer, this paint tool, and this one here, which we'll get to in a minute. But if I stick a couple of notes along here, okay, so far so good. I'll pop a couple more along there, so we've got the set, as it were. And then if I press just a C major triad, fine. If I move this one up to here, and I move that one down to there, and we'll start to get something a bit more like what we've seen before in arpeggiators. And importantly, if I move to a different chord, it follows. So, so far so good. Anything else that you can do? Yes, of course, you can, uh, you can paint in notes. So do things like this, for example. And you can also adjust the uh, the velocity of individual notes. So if I bring a couple of these down, we can get some accents going, accents on the, uh, on the beats, for example. Okay, that sounds pretty cheesy so far. But what we can then do is if we set, input is set to external here, I'll come out of here and I'll go to file, just to, just to stop it, you can play back from, from files within the plugin if you want to. Uh, what else can you do? Well, you can. Uh, you can duplicate. So hold Option. And uh, actually, I've got the wrong tool. Here we go. We'll get that tool. And uh, I can duplicate notes. Uh, I can uh, move them and they snap according to the grid. But if I hold Command or Control on a, on a PC, I can slip them like so. I can also do something similar with trimming the notes where they snap or if I hold Command. I can do them in free time to get uh, something that's a little bit out of out of time, but hopefully in some kind of funky way. Um, and uh, I can use the, uh, if I select a bunch of notes, let's say select all of these, and I can move using the arrow keys. So you can set up something that you want reasonably quickly like that. Okay, great. Um, uh, I hate all of this, so I'm going to get rid of it. And uh, what I can do over here is I can click on one of these. Now, these are other variations I've set up. There's eight of them. And uh, if I right click, I can copy and I can paste it into there. And I've got something like that. And I can change this one to get a variation. So I'll just do something like that, which is different to that. And as I click over here, I can go to different variations. Okay. I can, of course, change those parameters I was talking about. So if I wanted to slow everything down half time by eights, I can get things frantic and exhausting if I want to. And I can change the length of the pattern like so.
I have this chain in available. And if I were to come off of here and go over to here, I've got a MIDI track set up called Pattern Switches. And that's also addressing the chain in of my ARP track. So that means that what I do here will get recorded into here. From here, if I wanted to, if I take this down to, uh, I think it's I think it's minus two on my controller, then what I can do is I can switch between these variations using the first, there we go, eight white notes. And I can do that in real time, so. And I can play my variations in real time. It's all pretty random and uh, unmusical right now, but with a bit of a bit of experimentation and with the right variations in there, you can get something. How quickly I can change is set by uh, set by this value here. So an interesting way of being able to do some key switching. So uh, if I wanted to, I could record to this track. And like that, I've recorded those key switches into my MIDI. That's total chaos at the moment, but that's kind of part of the fun of the experimentation uh, that you can get up to using an arpeggiator. I hope you found something useful in that.